Hello and welcome to Mark Play Stuff. Um, we're going to have a go of an MSX1 title on the uh, Toshiba 8x10 64K and this is called Wedding Bells. So I really don't have any idea about this game or how to play it or anything like that. Um, I don't even know what you're meant to do really. I've just sort of done one round of it and have no clue at all what's going on um, it's quite finicky as well so uh, yeah I mean pull up a chair pull up your pants and uh, let's watch the video right so I appear to be a redhead in the middle of the screen um, and if you go over that ball and kick it then uh, you've got to collect what I think are crucifixes. I initially thought that they were nooses. I thought that'd be a bit grim for a video game. And uh, yeah, not sure what the objective is at all. So I'm just sort of running around randomly because uh, I don't know what else to do. Number. Oh, oh, there's a crown. I have the crown thing. Fire doesn't seem to do anything unless you're over the top of what looks like that American football thing. You can't go in any of the buildings. It's really quite difficult as well. No, there's no way to get out of that. Unfair. Like most MSX games, it's fucking balls hard. Fucking balls hard. Unfucking believable. Seriously. Strikes me a bit of Pac Man. I'm never going to get out of this. Problem is, you can't turn corners quick enough once you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Game over. There you have it. Wedding bells on the MSX. Let's have another go. Because I'm not entirely sure that um, that can be all there is to it. <laughs> oh. So let's try a bit more of a sensible critique. So you seem to be followed by classic movie monsters. Um, top left is mummy, and you've got a ghost, a werewolf, a vampire that comes in and kills you, or is it Jack the Ripper? I can't tell. He's got some sort of top hat thing going on. Um, yeah, Wolfman, Mummy, Ghost, and I'm going to say Vampire, because that fits in with the sort of um, classic movie monster theme, I think. Quite why they're trying to stop me get to my wedding, I don't know, but maybe if I just sort of go all the way this way. And the hearts allow you to um, eat them. And then I got hit by a fucking train. I just took on two vampires and got killed by the 415 to Basingstoke. Um, they seem to sort of home in on me. So if I wait. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Gotta love that. Take that crown. Don't know what the crowns do. I think maybe they're just points. No, I think the trick is not to be at the corners when you go onto a new screen. I'm dead. There's no way out of that. Let go of the joystick. No point even worrying about it. Is that game over? I wonder if I have to get to that chapel thing that was on the last screen. I didn't even notice it. Yeah, there's a chapel on the first screen. I'll have one more go, YouTube land. Here we go. Last go. See if I can get to that chapel thing. Right, go back here and get the heart. See if I can get a fighting chance of getting away from these scumbags. Doesn't make the uh, train thing flash though, does it? So and they're already sort of recovering from the, we'll call it the power pill heart thing. Let's go ignore all this other shit and just go for the chapel. Try and stay away from the edges. And I'm just gonna like sort of use this as immunity, this heart thing. Oh, I thought this was the, uh, I'm actually going to go for this heart here because I've got a feeling they're closing in on me. Alright, I'm going to go up this way. Look, that vampire's come back already. They don't hang about, do they? 
Oh, I don't really want to go off the corner of the... Oh, that was tighter than a nun's chuff, that. Right, into this chapel. Let's see if we can go in there. Well, there does seem to be more gear off the right hand side. Oh no, you can, you can go in. How many lives did I use in? Oh, none. Got to do it again. Ah, now I'm a blue haired boy. One might be a zombie. Could be a zombie, they're not very well represented in this game, are they? But I've dallied too long now and I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Oh, that was lucky. He's had a bit of invincibility left. No, he's coming back with a vengeance for his revenge. Vengeance and revenge. So they seem to be moving a bit quicker. Oh, yeah, if you go over the top of the American football thing and hit fire, it launches, but I think if you're right over the top of it, you can't really tell which direction it's going to go in, so... Oh, joystick got a bit seized there. Ah! That's joystick rather than me, honest. Joystick's a bit loose. It, I mean, it is like 26 years old, so uh, my bits and bobs are a bit loose, to be honest. There we go. Aye. It's a bit unforgiving on the old corner turning. You know, you've got to be a bit sort of precise. I'm going to wait here by the heart until a couple of them get close to me, and then uh, let me fucking have it. Come on, you slags. You're yeah, not going to take me alive. Oh, no, it's flashing at me. Man in the cape is flashing at me. Oh, you cunt burger. Is that it? Game over. No, nope, one more life. Needed to get off of there, fucking bit sharpish. Uh, there was no way out of that. That is game over. I really wanted to see what happened when little blue haired dude went in there. You know what will probably happen is you've got to then get the vicar to the church, then get every single one of the fucking wedding guests there. Should I have another go? Can you take it? Up to about seven minutes on the video. It's like the limit of. Uh, the limit of YouTube's uh, attention span is about four minutes, I find, so. Uh, yeah, we'll just eat those bastards. It's a shame that these things don't help with uh no no I'm stuck now. Oh no, I might be able to make it past the tram. Joystick. If that joystick hadn't seized up I'd be I'd be at the wedding now, so uh probably a good thing it did because weddings are fucking boring. Nothing more boring than sitting for hours, which is someone else getting married, waiting for the free bar to open. Anyway, yeah, I appreciate everyone's support on these uh, videos. Um, they are literally just me playing a video <laughs> game. Come on, you sluts. That's it, you know you love it. I've got another one of those heart things. So I think I'm actually going to wait until they get a bit closer and then use it as a power pill invulnerability thing. Come on, yes. Because I can get over here because I know the little bugger's going to respawn there, isn't he? No! I thought Wolfie was coming up to uh, have a nibble on my nodges. Oh, I can't resist it. I'm going to have to get him because that caused me so much grief. He's going to start flashing now. And Why is he outside the church? It's a little bit unfair, isn't it? What the hell? That did not seem very fair. He's like, yeah, I'm going to fucking camp out of the church now. That's it, I'm on a vengeance killing spree now. You're going to fucking pay, wolfy bastard. Yeah, I've got to get this joystick sorted out. I've actually got several joysticks. I've just got to find another one because I'm feeling fairly lazy when it comes to joysticks. Right, okay, so I've got one, li oh no, two lives now to try and get this blue-haired weirdo into the church. I'm telling you now, if basically then I've got to get the vicar there it's not happening, and it's going to be thank you very much, YouTube. The old traditional yeah, boy, and we're out of there. Oh man! Fucking spectral dick. It's been pointed out, I swear quite a lot on these, so um, I think I might reach, rename the games the Tourette's Gamer. Right, 
I'm not fucking about now. I'm serious. I'm fucking having them. Right, come on, slags. You wanted it. You got it. You wanted the best. You got the best. The hottest wedding guest in the world. Blue haired, thick face boy. Oh, it's going to be tight. I'm going to have that heart and then just go straight for it. Come on, joystick, don't let me down. I'm not, no, I was tempted to go for Wolfie. Oh, congratulations. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you. Ah, oh, and then you start at the beginning. Well, um, I think I'll just play until I'm dead. So what are my thoughts? Um, not so much an interesting concept, it's just plain out fucking odd. I mean, why are classic movie monsters trying to stop me getting to my own wedding? And um, what are all these collectibles that don't seem to do shit? And why is there an American football which seems to, you know, you can kick it and stuff, and why? And <laughs> why? Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, the best review of this game is uh, possibly why. Although you do seem to get better at it after you've played it a little bit. Eh, hey, Wolfie, guess what? Time for a butt fucking. How do you enjoy that, bitch? Yeah, you do seem to get better at it after you've played a little bit, but I can see it being very frustrating for the first time gamer. It's something that's occurred to me as well that you know, games back then were balls hard. You know, um, you play something now on the Xbox 360, and it takes you through a little training level. And uh, you know, if you die, it. Oh, right, that's it. And if you die, it sort of holds your hand, and you respawn. And it's like, no, soldier, don't die like that, you twat. And um, yeah, these um, games back then, you, you got with a fucking program where you didn't play. You know. Yeah, I remember games like Gumshoe on the NES, which were bloody hard, you know. Right, that's it. That's all all over. So, uh, yeah. I'm pretty happy I worked out what to do. Still not entirely sure what the backstory is. Um, let's put the old uh, M F S. Oh, no, shit. It's like the old... Um, How's going on? The inputs are a bit screwed on my uh, MSX at the moment, so I think I need to do some um, capacitor replacement. Come on. There we go. Top of the scoreboard. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, this is Mark from uh, Mark Fixes Stuff, Mark Plays Stuff, saying thank you very much. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, then do watch more. If you haven't enjoyed this video, then there's probably no fucking point watching anymore because they're all the same. So, uh, yeah, cheers and yeah, boy.